a lot of us feel that there is something more that we want to do beyond our regular nine to five job. But we don't know where to start, how much time we need to invest and what are the challenges associated with these things. And we have a lot of fleeting thoughts as well. But pursuing these outside activities, right, beyond your work are extremely important for our mental health, physical health and also for our creative brains so that we can even perform better at work as well. And in this video, I want to talk about four such activities and I'll also include a bonus activity around the end where I want to highlight what that activity could be and why you need to pick that activity, what are the benefits associated and what are some of the challenges associated with these activities. So let's start with the first one, which is satisfying your creative needs and also gives you that sense of satisfaction. And there is nothing monetary associated with this. There are a few more categories that we'll continue to discuss and there are monetary benefits associated with a few of them. But the ultimate objective of this video is to give you a broader perspective of what ways in which you can think beyond work. So let's start with the first one, which is giving you that creative satisfaction. And this could be pursuing any arts form. It could be music, it could be a musical instrument, or it could be painting, drawing, any art form, any art form. And why is this important? It first of all satisfies your hunger, right? It gives you that mental peace that you are doing something fun beyond work as well. And let me share with you a small tidbit. When you go and interview Right? As you grow in your career, people will start looking at your resume from downwards to upwards, not from top to bottom, but from bottom to top. Looking at your activities, your hobbies, how much time did you spend in these things? It's a good conversation starter. And the more you spend time in it, the more you can engage with the other person. You can share your ideas, you can exchange views. A lot of interesting things can happen. Again, this is not to be done just for the sake of resume. Otherwise, you wouldn't enjoy it. But once you start doing, this could be another alternate benefit. The second thing is beyond the resume, it will help you in dinner conversations. When you go have a conversation, let's say with your seniors, one skip level managers and all these things, you wouldn't talk about work, right? And it gives you a great personality as well, expressing yourself through a different art form as a whole new meaning altogether. I personally used to play a lot of guitar a few years back and I'm planning to get started with it again. Let's see how that goes, but I look forward to you also telling me a few days down the lane that you are starting with some other activity. And what's the challenge associated with this? The first one is some of these activities need time and you also need to spend money to get started. And since there might not be very tangible benefits associated with these things, you might say, hey, my motivation is fluctuating. Some days I'm feeling very high. I want to go do this activity. I want to rock with this. But the next day, you just don't want to pursue. Make this a habit and only habits stick with you, not activities. The second category that I want to talk about is being creative and also seeing if there is any kind of income possible from that. And here comes an interesting idea from our partners for today, BookBolt, at the intersection of being creative and also being able to earn money. BookBolt will let you become a published author on Amazon quickly with zero upfront cost. And this is how you do it. You start with writing a book. Yes, however, I'm talking about a different book here. That is low content books. There are a lot of books which are low on content. For example, activity books, weekly planners, expense trackers, coloring books, guest books, sketchbooks, etc. These are very close to being blank pages. And this is where BookBolt will come into the picture. BookBolt will help you with your Amazon product research, keyword research, and also creating beautiful design covers, which will help you create books books in both digital and physical versions. This research on BookBolt will help you with identifying the trends in the market so that you know which low content books to build. You log in into BookBolt, click on the cloud icon and start your search for the best selling books across different low content categories. And you will get results which also indicate an average price range. Then you move on to creating the cover design and the minimum text that is required. You will be able to create these books in as less as 10 minutes with the help of BookBolt. Amazon will then do the hard work. They will do the printing and shipping of your books when there is a sale and will even take care of the customer service. Your books will be available for purchase on Amazon in less than 72 hours. It is that simple. Do not just publish one book and wait for the cash to come in. Work 
to have a solid collections of book on Amazon, then you will see massive compounding results. Click on the link in the description so that you can also get a 20% discount on your BookBolt membership. The next category is something which is purely focused on generating that side income. It could be starting with your investing journey or it could be teaching somebody else the skill that you already possess or it could be doing a freelancing project or a moonlighting stuff, right? You might say, hey, moonlighting is something which is illegal. I don't want to do it. But look at any CEO in the world. Have you seen any CEO just working for their own company only? Even Elon Musk has four to five companies. People work on multiple initiatives. As long as there is no conflict of interest between multiple initiatives, you should be comfortable talking about it even with your company. Now, what should be the objective of doing these things? It is not about replacing your salary. If this side hustle can help you get started with covering for one or two of your EMIs, your home loan EMI or your vehicle EMI or any other such sort of thing, then the side hustles objective is fulfilled. And slowly you can work on multiple such side hustles. I'm linking another video over here where I talked about seven potential side hustles which you can get started with. And the major challenge again over here is building that right ecosystem. You need to network with a lot of people, your colleagues, past colleagues, your college alumni, your college friends, school friends on LinkedIn. You network everywhere possible so that your ecosystem is building and the more people you connect with and talk about your skills, it is highly probabilistic that you get an opportunity as well. So please don't be afraid or don't be shy or don't feel bad when you actually propose or sell a skill that you currently have. The next category is doing something beyond for yourself, right? It could be just giving back to the society. This has a lot of meaning to it. And unfortunately, let me tell you, I also support a lot of people with their MBA application journeys. And a lot of people do these activities, right? Go ahead and volunteer in a school. And they believe that writing immediately on their MBA application essay would give them that benefit. But unfortunately, 99% of the MBA college essays have this sort of voluntary activity going on their essay. So the entire value proposition itself is very, very low. Let me tell you how this could be helpful. When I was a consultant at McKinsey, I did a three month voluntary exercise. I used to go and teach in a school, high school. I used to teach international finance, right? How finance works between different countries. And the school students appreciated it. The teachers appreciated my efforts. And end of the day, when I was coming back after the last class, I felt really, really really positive. And I decided that day that once I leave consulting, education is the place where I'm going to spend a lot of time in my career. And that is the reason why I immediately jumped into education field. These voluntary activities not only benefit others, but they could give you that sense of purpose and could give you that long term direction. Please don't do these for MBA applications. They should naturally happen and they should go in there. MBA application officers are not idiots. They have been doing this stuff for years. They know if somebody is doing this just for the sake of application or if somebody is doing this with genuine interest. So see if these things could be beneficial. And again, what are some of the challenges associated with this? One of the major challenges over here is time allocation. You might be busy with your office work, then your personal work, kids, family, friends, a lot of other things going on. When do you get time to allocate for these voluntary activities. These voluntary activities, when they become really voluntary, you start to cut off these activities slowly. So think through, and if you are really interested, you can pull out that time. Along with a side hustle, see if you can also add a voluntary activity into the mix. If you are just starting out your career, right, less than five, seven years work experience, this will go a very long way. Trust me, guys, I started with my education initiatives roughly five, seven years into the corporate world. And by the time I had 10 years experience in the corporate world, I left that mainstream job and I jumped into education. So don't ignore this. The next category, right? This is a bonus category, but this is probably the most important category, which is how can you keep yourself physically fit? Is it going to a gym or is it doing that yoga or practicing meditation? Whatever that activity could be, can you follow one or two activities regularly? Why? In this day and age, we have a lot of lifestyle diseases and to overcome these lifestyle diseases, we need to be physically fit. There is no other option. Even if you are working from nine to nine, you still have to take out that one hour from somewhere. Early morning, or it could be late night, or it could be middle of the work day. You need to figure this out. Otherwise, the repercussions are much stronger. 
Unfortunately, if you don't do this, your 30 year long career might be cut down to 20 or 25 year long career only. And I remember one of my managers, very early managers, when I just started in the corporate world, he told me, you would do whatever you want to do right now, right? You go out party with your friends and then you probably work very hard sitting at the same place for eight hours, but you will realize what health issues you will face only after you cross that eight to 10 year mark in the corporate world. And he was absolutely right, at least with me. I had a chronic back pain and to make my back normal, I had to do a lot of lot of physical work. Trust me, it is better to control and maintain it rather than trying to fight it out once it is an issue in your body. So don't forget this thing. And finally, the point I want to highlight through this video is it is not always about your job, your money, but these side activities could end of the day, keep your creative brains up and also give you that longevity in the career, keeping your physical body as well in a good shape. So don't ignore any of these activities. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this video is helpful. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.